Welcome to our feature clip on Remote Support Platform 3.2 for SAP Business One Release 9.2, where you will learn about the major functional enhancements and updates in this release. Please note that the Remote Support Platform 3.2 is also backward compatible with earlier SAP Business One releases. The Remote Support Platform protects your SAP Business One installation by monitoring customer environments and providing automated and remote support. By reducing the amount of time required to identify and resolve potential issues, the Remote Support Platform for SAP Business One minimizes disruption to business processes and databases. It ultimately protects your investment. With Remote Support Platform 3.2, we have delivered a new technical user to connect with the new SAP backend system. In order to communicate with SAP's new backend, a technical user with technical data transfer authorization must be configured in RSP. This new technical user enhances security as it's designed for data transfer only. It also minimizes maintenance effort as its password does not need to be changed as often. It is also currently free of charge. Let's see how the technical user is configured in RSP 3.2. We are now going to log in to the Remote Support Platform by entering our login details. Once logged in to the Remote Support Platform for SAP Business One, we simply navigate to Configuration and select Channels. Under SAP Channel, we are able to actually set up and configure our technical user information. We simply include our technical user S user details and appropriate password. Under the little information icon here, we have more information about the technical user and you can refer to the SAP note which provides instructions on how to obtain a technical user and how to activate it. Partners can request a technical S user for their customers from their partner dashboard or customers can request it themselves. You actually need to carry out this request of the technical user at least three days before you plan to upgrade an existing RSP installation to the latest RSP 3.2 release, or three days before you are going to install RSP 3.2 for the first time. A few things to remember. Partner or customer personal S user numbers cannot be used anymore under this SAP channel in the RSP customer installation. If an installation update to RSP 3.2 occurs without a technical user, then no more tasks will be retrieved from SAP and no more task results will be sent to SAP. So in order to ensure that the technical user is maintained and the communication to SAP is properly configured in RSP 3.2, the upgrade package needs to be downloaded from the SAP Business One Software Download Center and executed manually. Another key feature with the Remote Support Platform 3.2 is that partners can now use the Remote Support Platform Studio to develop support tasks, deliver tasks to customers, and manage tasks for different customer installations. In RSP Studio 3.2, partners are now able to manage customer landscapes remotely, including the distribution of tasks, and you can also adjust the schedule of SAP tasks based on customer needs. These features were formerly available through the RSP Remote Console application, which will soon be retired. So now partners can control both partner and SAP tasks for their customers in one single place, the Remote Support Platform Studio, and ultimately reduce maintenance downtime. So let's now see how you can manage SAP Remote Support Platform tasks centrally from within the RSP Studio. To enable this feature, you first need to set up the SAP channel and partner channel details correctly. To do this, you navigate to Configuration and select Channels. Under the SAP channel, you need to ensure that Allow Remote Management is ticked and also that your SAP channel details are correctly configured here. Under Partner Channel, you also need your Partner Channel details to be correctly configured. 
We can now log into the Remote Support Platform Studio for SAP Business One. Now that we're logged in to the Remote Support Platform Studio for SAP Business One, we simply select SAP Tasks, and here we've got the ability to approve or accept the specific tasks that are listed. To approve or reject a task, we simply select the relevant task, and then we select the relevant checkbox, whether or not we want to approve or reject this particular task. In this case, we're going to approve the task. You also have the ability to select or deselect all tasks that are listed here, or reject all tasks that are listed. To actually schedule a specific task, you simply select the task that you would like to schedule, and then click on Configuration. Then you have the ability to enable the task results or disable the task results upload. You can also overwrite the default schedule to fit your customer needs. We can overwrite the schedule and then select, for example, the time that you would like to schedule this task to run and whether or not it will reoccur. Once you've selected your particular configuration details for scheduling this task, you click Apply and then you can simply publish the task. You can also configure the task at a customer specific level in the Customer Management tab. By going to Customer Management, you choose your specific customer installation, then you simply choose View SAP Tasks for that specific customer installation. To approve or reject the tasks for a specific customer, you select the relevant checkboxes in the relevant tasks row. You can also again approve or reject all tasks. This is a very simple example of how to centrally manage your tasks within the Remote Support Platform Studio. The Remote Support Platform 3.2 has also synchronised its landscape with this system landscape directory, resulting in a much simpler configuration and setup process. Some of the key benefits include any landscape changes performed in the system landscape directory at a customer site are automatically replicated to the remote support platform. RSP configuration and setup is also much easier and there's no disruption of RSP results in the event of any landscape change, for example exchanging of database servers or a password change. Let's see where we can simply configure the system landscape directory information within the remote support platform environment. When logged in to the remote support platform for SAP Business One, we simply navigate to configuration and select databases. Under the system landscape directory tab, we then simply make sure that the checkbox synchronize company database information from system landscape directory is checked. We then enter the server details and the username and password of the System Landscape Directory environment. When the System Landscape Directory connection is configured, company database landscape information is loaded automatically from the System Landscape Directory to the Remote Support Platform. This new ability reduces maintenance efforts as landscape changes are done in the System Landscape Directory on a customer site are automatically replicated to the remote support platform. But just note that the system landscape directory connection must be configured as a prerequisite for enabling the HANA databases backup via the remote support platform, which will now lead us into introducing the next highlight for the remote support platform release 3.2. The remote support platform 3.2 now supports healing tasks for SAP HANA databases and the ability to schedule and back up instances of SAP HANA databases. As we mentioned before, the System Landscape Directory connection must be configured as a prerequisite for enabling HANA database backup via the Remote Support Platform. Some of the key benefits include SAP HANA databases leveraging the healing tasks that are delivered from the Remote Support Platform 3.2 to resolve any potential issues easily. You can now schedule regular backups of the SAP HANA databases and delete any old backups automatically, saving maintenance time. All of this promotes a higher level of automation. 
So let's check out the Remote Support Platform 3.2 for SAP Business One version for SAP HANA. In the Remote Support Platform for SAP Business One, to check any healing tasks that may have been sent that are specific to your SAP HANA customers, you simply click the Tasks tab and you can see under here any specific RSP healing task for SAP HANA databases will be delivered as needed. In order to perform an instant backup of the SAP HANA database and schedule regular backups, you simply navigate to Configuration and select Backups. And here you need to check and ensure that the Enable RSP Backups for SAP HANA is ticked. Once that's ticked, you then can navigate to Configuration and the Backup Management window. Under Backup Strategy, you can actually select the specific database that you want to back up. By selecting Instant Backup, you can then select any backup strategy settings. You can select a particular time that you would like to schedule a regular backup of your SAP HANA database. You can also choose the option to delete older backups after the successful instance of a backup has been performed. Under the Backup History tab, you can see the results with status and a path to the backup file. This actually concludes our feature clip covering the major functional enhancements implemented in Release 3.2 for the Remote Support Platform for SAP Business One. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out what's new in our feature clips for SAP Business One Release 9.2.